We know that how to work with callbacks and promises. We use callbacks and promises for creating asynchronous code. In ECMAScript 17, asynchronous JavaScript is even simpler with async and await function. Async functions are a combination of promises and generators. And basically, they are a higher level abstraction over promises. They hide all the unnecessary code of promises. Async and await build on promises. But why do we need async and await when we have promises? When promises were introduced in ECMAScript 15, they were meant to solve a problem with asynchronous code. And they did. But after two years, a new ECMAScript 17 released and there it was clear that promises could not be the final solution. Promises were introduced to solve the famous callback hail problems. But they introduced complexity on their own. This is why the async functions were introduced. They make the code look like it's synchronous, but it's asynchronous and non-blocking behind the scene. So let's take a look at a very simple example to understand how async and await function work in Node. So let me show you a very simple example of async and await. I'm going to create here a function and specify name to it, clone. And in this function, I'm going to simply return a new promise. As I said earlier, async and await built on promises. So I'm going to just return an instance of the promise. And as you know, this promise takes a function with two state, resolve and reject. So I'm going to just create here a function, resolve and reject. If you want, you can create arrow function here as well. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to get rid of this function and just return resolve. Because I want to return the successful result, I'm going to just create an argument resolve and using arrow function, I'm going to return it like this. So just for that, here I'm going to say set timeout and to the set timeout, I'm going to simply pass here a callback function and to this callback function, I'm going to say resolve and return a simple icon. So I'm going to simply copy icon and print here. So when we have the successful result, promise is going to return the resolve result. Just for that, I'm going to specify here timer to this set timeout. So down here, I'm going to specify 2000 to make this function delay by 2 seconds. And just for that, down here, I'm going to create a function and specify name msg. And inside this function, I'm going to create a constant variable msg is equal to and call a function name clown. This one, I'm going to call this function. And just for that, down here, I'm going to say console.log. And in the double code, I'm going to say message, specify colon, and then specify here msg, just like this. And at the end, I'm going to call this msg function. Let me just save the changes and execute this program. When I execute this program, you can notice I'm going to have a message with promise. And you can notice a status here pending because this function is executed before two seconds. Now what I want, I want to execute this function after two seconds. So I can get this result in this console.log. This function is executed immediately when we execute this program. That is why I'm going to get pending result in this output. What you need to do is you need to make this function asynchronous. To make this function asynchronous, you just need to add here async keyword just like this and inside this async function you need to add await keyword down here i'm going to just call await and save the result that's it when i save the changes and execute the file i'm going to have the result what i want after two seconds i'm going to have my message so you can notice here it's super easy to make this function asynchronous i know for you both these keywords are new so let me explain how these keywords work. So what this async does is, it's going to make this function asynchronous. And this await is going to make this function wait for two seconds. When you specify async before the function, this statement will not execute immediately. This function will wait for the promises to return something. The await is a new operator used to wait for a promise to resolve or reject. It can only be used inside an async functions. You can notice here, we use await inside this async. So when we have resolve or reject a response from these promises, await operator will inform to this async 
and execute this function. So both these operators or you can say functions communicate with each other and execute your asynchronous code. So this is more important to understand how this async and await work in real world examples. So when the promise is return resolve or reject, await is going to inform to the async that we get the data what we want. Now let's execute this function. So once we have the data, the async is going to execute this msg function after 2 seconds. Now suppose you want to execute another message after this result. So for example, if I just create here a function and specify here name to it, get result. And in the body of this function, I'm going to just specify console.log and specify execute after. Now what I want, I want to just print this execute after text after this message. But first let me just execute this get result function. So down here, I'm going to specify get result and specify parentheses. Save the changes and execute this file. When I execute this file, as you can notice, I have this execute after text before this message. I don't have the result what I want. I want to get this message before this execute after. So how do I do it? The simple way to do is just specify here a callback function. So here I'm going to specify callback and just after this console.log, here I'm going to specify callback and specify parenthesis. And when I call this msg, I'm going to just pass this function just like this. So I'm going to pass this function as an argument to this msg function. Let me just get rid of this function call, save the changes and execute this file. And execute this file, you can notice I'm going to have the result what I want. So this is how we can work with async and await in Node. Next, we'll talk about how to create the HTTP server using Node.